Hi, I'm Sasha Segan from PCMag.com, and this is Fastest Mobile Networks 2022, where we're testing AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon in 30 US cities to see which network is the fastest and the best. This is one of the Hertz rental cars that we're using to drive down the East Coast to test in cities across the nation. Let me show you inside how we're using brand new software on Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus phones to collect more data than ever. Balancing mobile testing with stationary locations is a big part of the test process. Our drivers are basically shuttling these phones around entire metro areas and then through the rural areas and small towns uh, between those metro areas. They periodically stop to collect stationary data and also, of course, to debug and troubleshoot the phones. One of the real challenges with testing is heat. As these phones are constantly transmitting data, they tend to get hot. So we have Razer Chroma phone coolers clipped to each device that bring the temperature down by five or 10 degrees and let us continually test all day. We'll run tests for six to eight hours each day at up to 12 stationary locations, plus driving around each city. We're collecting coverage data, we're collecting speeds, and we're collecting dropped calls to find out which network is fastest and which network is most reliable. One of the tricky things about network testing is just keeping all of the phones in place and stable. With the add-on coolers, there's an extra challenge of needing to have space below and around the cooler for airflow. So we have these custom wooden rigs with rubber bands to keep the phones in place. Each car has two of these rigs for the three or four phones that the car is testing at the time. As we drive through the streets of New York City, we're collecting not just speed data, but this year, most importantly, 5G coverage data. Verizon has said a lot about how they're building out their mid-band C-band 5G network. T-Mobile has said that their mid-band network is the fastest in the land. In terms of speed results, we heavily weight stationary results because once again, that's when people are doing their most intense speed usage. But in terms of looking at coverage, that's when the mobile results, driving around for hours, seeing where the 5G is, where the 4G is, where the dropouts are, that's where that really comes into play. Over our month-long test, we're going to collect tens of thousands of data points on each of these Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus phones to find out the truth of 4G and 5G across America. And that's when you'll see what is truly America's best mobile network.